Hey everybody, welcome back to Messy Vegan Baker. I'm Christina, and today we are going to go where no man has gone before. A new frontier. Just kidding. I'm actually gonna do a trend that I saw. It's on TikTok, I think, but I saw it. Business Insider article. Cause hashtag I'm old at heart. <laughs> Anywho, I was looking at making cornmeal pancakes, AKA Johnny cakes. And then I saw the article and it said that there's this cool trend called, oh wait, hold on. <clears throat> I have to do my cool drumming. So I saw that they were making this cool thing called pancake cereal. So of course I had to try it because pancakes are amazing and I love cereal. So I decided why not make the Johnny cakes and make them into tiny pancake cereals. And then if that goes well, I can decide on what flavor. I don't know why I'm holding that. I also really want to do like cinnamon swirl kind of pancake cereal because then it's like cinnamon toast crunch except with pancakes and I just think it's like the coolest combination. I'm going to show you how to make Johnny cakes because I've never heard of these but I like the idea of them. So um, shocker, I got this recipe from How to Bake Everything. I really love this cookbook in case you couldn't tell. So without further ado, let's get baking. Oh wait, hold on. The original recipe calls for corn, like frozen corn to be put in there, but he gave other ideas and one of them was uh, maple walnut, except I really don't like walnuts that much. I just, I just think they're annoying. Like why do they have to be in a nice, chewy, delicious dessert? But um, some people like it because it's texture differentiation. What? That's not a word. Differentiation, that's a word. But I don't, I didn't want to do that, but I also don't have frozen corn. So I thought, what if I did maple blueberry pancakes? So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll be able to make small little pancake cereals out of them still, but I'm also going to make a few that are just regular size because why not? In the bowl, I already measured out the cornmeal, the salt, and then the original recipe calls for pepper, but I thought that would be really weird in a sweet pancake, so I substituted that for cinnamon and nutmeg. And then you have to add a cup and a half of boiling hot water. So we're gonna stir this, and then we're gonna let it sit. I have some almond milk and some apple cider vinegar because it calls for buttermilk, so, you know, that's what you do. Although, does anyone else have this? Like, it, it looks curdled, but it also just looks like it's breaking apart. But they say you can do it with any milk and that it's normal, so I guess that's what's supposed to happen. I don't know, I mean, I've never had any problem with it. I've just been surprised. And then to make the itty little babies, I have this really old decoration kit, I guess, and it comes with like piping tips and stuff. So I decided that this would probably be pretty easy to just, you know, control the amount that goes in there, so. It might take a few filler uppers, but that's fine. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Um, it doesn't honestly look like it has a different texture, really. Okay, so we're gonna stir in the buttermilk. Look how weird that is. Um, it says stir it in a little bit at a time. I find this recipe so interesting because there's no eggs and there's no flour. So I think this could be a gluten-free option, which is awesome for those of you who are gluten-free. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so until it's spreadable but thick. That counts. It seems like it's a nice texture. And then, oh, we're supposed to do melted butter. But it's not like it's hard to melt butter. butter just exploded, but it's fine. I'll clean that in a minute. So it's melted. We're gonna stick this in. Still a little, I'm still a little shooketh from that uh, explosion there. So you mix this in, and then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two. We're gonna mix that in. Got a whisk it, whisk it good. Do -do -do -do. And then we're gonna add a little over a half of blueberries. I'm assuming you don't thaw them because it never said anything about it. It just called for frozen corn and then said, put it in the mixture. 
It looks gorgeous. All right, now comes the fun part. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. The countertop's clean, I promise. Right, well, I'm gonna go um, put some oil on the skillet and then let it heat up. And I'll just meet you guys over there. So um, the pancakes didn't really work out. Don't worry, I will be making actual little pancakes. I just thought I would <coughs> shoot this really quickly. So I realized that they're weird and I didn't like the flavor of them even after I added some more maple syrup. So I decided to scratch the idea and use the rest of them to make blueberry muffins, except I kind of had coffee brain. You know when you get to that point where your brain is like, I'm not functioning anymore because I need food. That was me. So I kind of just randomly added some extra stuff in it because I have a sweet cornbread recipe that I have been planning on doing for a while. So I just kind of looked and saw what they put in that and then I kind of put some more stuff. So I put like a little more butter and a weird amount of flaxseed eggs because coffee brain and I wasn't thinking and I don't know. So um, and some flour. So hopefully they turned out. The batter tasted pretty good. That's where I'm at. So I'm gonna just make the other pancakes really quickly, like the batter, and then get some delicious pancake cereal. took forever. I figured it would though because it's a lot of tiny little pancakes. They look and smell delicious. I'm a little curious as to why they never really browned up that much on the sides. So here are the muffins. They have kind of a weird color. They're almost green-like and I'm really not sure where that color came from. I'm guessing it's from the blueberries but it has this weird aftertaste that I'm not sure what it is, but I'm, <clears throat> I was getting it in these little guys too. <clears throat> okay, maybe I just don't like this stuff. I don't know, there needs to be way more sugar in this. Hmm. Which is confusing because the recipe did not call for that much sugar. So I assumed it was, I don't know. I have my cute little bowl. I even drizzled all the extra cinnamon flavored stuff on it. Wow. Wow, these actually are way more fun to eat when they're small. The only thing is I'm kind of tempted to put milk in it, <clears throat> but I feel like that would make it really weird. But um, this is amazing. This trend is fun. I did add, end up adding some vanilla and some cinnamon to the mixture just because that's what I've always put in that kind of batter, just to sweeten it up and have it, I don't know, give it some flavor. But that's really good. Overall, the cinnamon pancakes are amazing, so at least something turned out. I'll write the recipe in my blog, which I will link below for you guys, so go check that out. I will also have my Instagram handle down there, so if you make any of this, let me know. Especially the cinnamon swirl pancakes. Whether you make the small ones or the big ones, these are actually really good. They're very sugary, but they're really nice. I always forget this part. If you are new, welcome. I love new people. It's exciting. Um, hit that subscribe button and that like button if you want to see more of my exciting videos. And leave a comment down below what your favorite pancake flavor is. And if you've tried the little mini pancake cereal and what you thought of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.